Hi friends, welcome again to Manitofil Academy. In this lesson, I am going to take you through on the way we construct various sentences which are in present perfect tense. Uh, first of all, you have to know that when we construct a sentence which is in present perfect tense, uh, we should use the helping verbs uh, whereby we have two kinds of helping verbs which are used in this section. These include have or has. Uh, and after any of these two helping verbs, the main verb should fall and it should be in past participle. Without wasting time, let us see the way we can construct various sentences by using these personal pronouns. I mean, I, you, he, she, or it, we, you, they. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to show the way you may construct various sentences which are in present perfect tense by using these personal pronouns. As I have told you before, that when we construct a sentence which is in present perfect tense, you have after the noun or pronouns, it is followed by the helping verb, whereby the helping verbs used are has and have. So, any of these any of these two helping verbs can be used after the noun or pronouns so for the case of i we use have have for the case of you we use have for the case he she or it we use has for the case of we we use have for the case of you we use have for the case of they we use have so you may see the helping verb has is only used when we are referring to the pronoun he, she, or it. Now let us construct various sentences which are in the present perfect tense by using these personal pronouns. Now let us use the main verb to move. The main verb to move. Now I am going to conjugate these, these main verb to move into these various personal pronouns while constructing various sentences that are in present perfect tense. Now, let us start with the I. I may construct a sentence that I have moved about 20 meters. I have moved about 20 meters. You have moved about 20 meters. You have moved about 20 meters. He has moved about 20 meters. He has moved about 20 meters. She has moved about 20 meters. She has moved about 20 meters. It has moved about 20 meters. It has moved about 20 meters. We have moved about 20 meters. We have moved about 20 meters. You have moved about 20 meters. You have moved about 20 meters. They have moved about 20 meters. They have moved about 20 meters. Now, in all of these sentences which I have constructed now, you may find that after the helping verb, in each, I have added the main verb, which is in past participle. Now, I have to remember that our main verb was to move. Now, if we have read well in each sentence, I have included the verb to move, but in the past participle. That is why I have been spelling out moved, 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 to mean that moved is the past participle of the verb 
move. So move become move becomes moved. That is why I have said I have moved. You have moved. He or she or it has moved. We have moved. You have moved. They have moved. So it is clear that after any of these 12 previous verbs, either has or have, we have added the main verb, which is in the past participle. Now, this is the way we may construct various sentences which are in the present perfect tense by using various pronouns, as you may see, personal pronouns. But now, let us see the way we construct sentences which are in the present perfect tense when you are referring to the name or names. Now, uh, if the name is the name of a single person or a single object or a single animal, and it is in singular, I mean a single animal, as I've said, or person or object, we use the helping verb has. Let us see, for example, if the name is for the boy, maybe Peter. We may construct a sentence that Peter has moved about 20 meters. Peter has moved about 20 meters. Uh, now, if it is the name for the girl, maybe Mariam, we may construct a sentence that Mariam has moved about 20 meters. Mariam has moved about 20 meters. Now, if is the name for the animal, a single name for the animal or object, for example, a lion, we may construct a sentence that a lion has moved about 20 meters. A lion has moved about 20 meters. Now, this is the case when we are referring to a single name. Now, if we are speaking on the names which are the plural, for example, maybe lions. Now, how are we going to construct this sentence in present perfect tense? We are going to say that the lions have moved about 20 meters. The lions have moved about 20 meters now i think you have got well the way we construct various sentences which are in present perfect tense now after that let me take this chance to thank you i welcome you in the next sessions have a nice moment bye